Thomas. I'm the director of technical sales consulting. There will be no sales pitches in this, though. I don't really work for sales. Uh, this is Infobright's second year at OpenSQL Camp. So last year, if you were here before, you would have seen Alex Hesterkin, who was our chief architect at that time. This year, our chief technology officer was going to attend and had to go to our development labs in Europe at the last minute, so I am a substitute. And what I wanted to talk about was column stores, because Infobright is a column store. And I did want to reach out to the guys at CalPont and DynamoDB and say, I'm not the only column store guy here, right? So this is really great validation. But this is, uh, this is something I think in the database world we have to consider. And the reason I say consider it is because column stores are a specialized engine for specialized needs. It is not a generalized technology. So just to step back, uh, what is InfoBright? Number one, we're a software-only company. Number two, we are a database company. Three, our database is built on and distributed with MySQL. So we are sort of MySQL-centric at this point in time. Our platforms that we support are all flavors of Linux. We also support Solaris from the you know, typical uh, Unix stack, as well as 32-bit and 64-bit Windows. So there's a lot of different platforms that you may run or you may have clients to run on that you want to look at InfoBright or Column Store Technologies on. If that's one of them, and that's almost all of them, InfoBright would be a good fit. Another thing about InfoBright is that we are a commercial open source company, and that's why we're here. We're an open source company. We have an open source offering. You can download it. It's called ICE. I know it's a cheesy name, but it's InfoBright Community Edition. It's freely available at infobright.org. You can download it on any of the platforms that I've just discussed. There also is a commercial offering. It's a commercially supported product. You get it from the company. We provide services, training, support, indemnification, all of those great things. And of course, there are differentiations between the free community software and what we call the enterprise or commercial software that go beyond you know, corporate support. One of the biggest things that you would probably run into looking at, uh, if you were looking at Fulbright Enterprise, as opposed to commercial, is DML. Our community product is a load and read product only, which means it's one of two things. It's either load your data, analyze it, and throw it away, or download it and evaluate in Fulbright Community Edition before you decide that you might want to use it for uh, a commercial uh, or you know, a production environment. So why column stores? You know, that was the InfoBright pitch. That was as close to sales as, as it's going to get. The thing about column stores is, and, and it's very trite to say this, but column stores fit where you're doing columnar operations. Right? It's all about I.O. reduction. A lot of the advances that we've seen in database technologies, and I'll say SQL database technologies anyway, the advancements and the alternatives that have come up have all been about big data. How do you solve the big data problem? Well, part of the way to solve the big data problem is not to read all the unnecessary noise. And that's what a columnar operation is. I've got X columns, and I only need to read X minus N number of columns for my query. So don't read those columns. The only way you can do that in a database is to have a physical architecture that doesn't force you to read every columnar attribute for every record. And have every record, perhaps, on a page where you have to read records you're not even interested in. That's the expensive part of the database, the I.O. operations taking off disk across the bus and in memory and then throwing it away. Okay? So column store databases are specifically designed to allow you to reduce the I.O. that is necessary to resolve queries that only ask questions of a small number of columns. Maybe it's giving me an aggregate, aggregate about a column. Maybe it's giving me some of the content from that column. And probably, perhaps, even more uh, regularly filter on a different column. Well, the way that you do it in a lot of regular relational databases is you would use indices. What's unique about InfoBright compared to other column databases, no indexes. So when you have no indexes, what's that mean? Less space. If you have less space, that means less bytes on disk because you're doing less reads. Again, I.O. reduction. Another thing that we do, and this is what all the column stores do, is we compress the data before it goes on disk. So again, column databases give you uh, a reduced I.O. rate because you're reading less off of this. I think I'm probably close to five. Ten seconds. I can barely introduce myself. <laughs> so that's it. I'm going to leave it right there. Infobright.org, infobright.com. <laughs>